Hello there, this is Dama Mikas and today I'm going to show you how to edit a traditional painting. This is the painting I have, it's paper and pencil. I scan it in with a scanner and as you can see the colors are quite bland. This is the usual problem when you have a scanner, it always messes up the colors. I'm going to show you now how to fix this and how to actually make a better painting. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is to duplicate this layer. And I'm going to apply all the auto options. So I have Im image, auto tone, I'm using the auto contrast and the auto color. As you can see, it already looks a lot better now. See, this is more like the painting I scanned. Um, but I want, I want to add some more effects. Uh, to start with, I'm going to make sure there's not a single bit of color in this painting layer. Um, what I'm going to do is I add a new layer and I'm going to paint it black using the color overlay mode and I'm going to merge it by pressing Ctrl and E. As you can see I now have a new layer without any color. Um, the next thing I am wanting to do is um, make sure the, the black and the white color pop a bit out. So I'm going to add another adjustment layer. So I'm going to layer. Well, um, adjustment layer and I choose for uh, levels. And I'm going to drag this around a bit so the polos, colors pop out more. See, that looks already a bit better now. Not too much. So This is okay. See, if you compare it with the previous results, this looks a lot better already. Um, what I want now is to make the black corals pop out a bit more. So I'm going to add another adjustment layer. And again, choose for levels. And I'm going to make it really, really dark. So a bit like this, I think. Yeah, I like this. What I'm watching for is the dark values, like here and there. And see if I like them. I like them pretty much now. Um, what is nice and handy is that every adjustment layer comes with a layer mask. And you can use that to block certain parts out. So I'm going to block everything out now and then paint it over with a white paint, uh, one white brush to make sure only the parts uh, that I want to are light out. So I want to, his hair to be really dark so I'm painting that part in. And a bit here. I want to have high contrast on the light, so. I want to, usually, I want to uh, make the faces pop out a little bit more, so. I add a bit more contrast in there. And uh, I like it is a jacket, so I'm going to make it a bit darker as well. Well, so much for the dark. I might tweak it a bit more. See, you can always press uh, the layer itself and tweak it more. So I'm going to make it a little bit darker. Only a little bit. Yeah, this is how I like it. Okay, um, the next thing I'm going to do is um, make the light effect pop out a bit more. As you can see, there's a lot of energy stuff going on here. <laughs> And I want to be to, to make it uh, glow a bit more. So I'm going to add another adjustment layer. Um, I'm 
another one on the levels. Press OK and make sure it's light. Really light. And like this. Again, I'm going to make use of the layer mask that's included, so I block everything out. And paint it in again. But only where I want it. So this is the energy. I want this to be very light. And the lighter. And well, I think this is about it. I like his eyes to be a bit lighter. So um, this is going to only have a little bit of white in here. So as you can see, this is better than it was. Um, what I always do to make sure it's not entirely black and white is adding another layer on top and give it a slight bit of color. So I'm adding a new layer and I'm using the paint bucket tool to make it a color. Use color overlay modus. I usually put it about, well, seven to 10% to and it doesn't make a really big difference, but just a little bit. See, this is the one without color, and this is the one with a slight purple glow. And if you want to, you can paint on this layer as well. So if you think um, the character on the bottom looks better in red, you can just paint on this layer and make it red. I don't like it in red, actually, so I'm going to delete this. Um, well, folks, that's it for today. Thanks for watching.